typically receives hydraulic pressure from both hydraulic systems, but will operate with only one hydraulic system available. There is no yeah, manual... spoke about that. Spoilers and high lift devices are hydraulically operated. Hydraulic pressure is normally required to operate these non-critical plant components. However, some of the high lift devices can operate through alternate methods. Okay. Good example here I'd like to talk to you, right? Mm -hmm. You have leading edge devices in this airplane, otherwise known as LEDs. Lead, as if you didn't have enough acronyms, right? Leading edge device. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now the leading edge devices, and there's two different types on this machine, you have slats, leading edge slats, and leading edge flaps. Okay, let me tell you the difference. Okay? The leading edge slats are inboard of the engine. Let me say that again. Okay? The leading edge, or not not, not inboard, excuse me. Uh, the slats are outboard. The leading edge flaps are inboard. Okay? So the leading edge flaps inboard of the engines, what's the difference? Well, and this is really where I want to go with this. The leading edge flaps inboard of the engines are two position. Retract and extend. You agree? The slats are three position. Retract, extend, and pull, extend. Okay? Now, what's the difference between a flap and a slat? Particularly in this aircraft, the way they extend forward or maybe down. Okay? What happens is this. A leading edge flap, flap, that's inboard of the engine, primarily extends down. It actually comes more down than it comes forward. If you were to look at a leading edge flap extension, you would notice that the downward trace of it is actually a little bit more significant than the forward trace, whereas the leading edge slat is mainly coming forward. Make sense? Yeah. So the forward... Extend more the, it's in, it's, the area of the, exactly, the wing. Exactly. It's increasing the camber of the wing. The wing, uh, <clears throat> lead edge, the, the flaps... The leading edge flaps. Leading edge flaps, flaps is close to the wood. Correct. And... The job is to uh, increase more the drag. Okay, not so much the drag. Lift. You you will inherently get an increase in drag. Absolutely, you will. Any type of lead, any type of flap uh, device at some point will will inevitably increase drag for sure. That's right. Um, but you're on the right track, right? So it increases this area of the wing. The area. What does that do for our stall speed? Decrease. It brings it down, which is good. That's what we want. For a landing. Yeah, of course, right? Now, when these things extend down, what they do is they actually, uh, more than anything, redirect airflow, force airflow, or redirect it over the top of the wing. And it just so happens conveniently to be that the redirection of airflow or forcing of airflow over the top of the wing is over the wing root. See, this is the wing root section right over here. Okay, so by, by these devices extending downward and forcing airflow over the top by that downward extension, we are forcing a smooth airflow, laminar if you will, over the top of no the separation. roof. Yeah, you're minimizing it at low speed. Minimizing the separation of the airflow. At low speed, but not particularly. Okay, whereas the slats here, leading edge slats are a little bit different. They are extending forward. Okay, giving you mainly lift. Slats are more lift devices than they are drag devices. Okay, so that's a little takeaway here. Slats are more lift devices than they are drag, whereas the flaps are a little bit more drag associated with them. These are three position, and they're mainly focused on increasing wing uh, area, camber, if you will, to reduce stall speed. Likewise, these are working towards the same goal, end game. It just does a little bit differently, and it's mainly by redirecting or forcing airflow over the wing root to reduce stall speed. Okay. So you got two types of devices. If you take anything out of all that stuff I just said, all right, let it be this. Yeah. Leading edge flaps, leading edge slats. Flaps are inboard, slats are outboard. These are two position, these are three position. That's why the gauge on the aft overhead panel looks the way it does. If you look at this thing here, you have two positions, okay? You have a, a full extend, and you have the amber in transit, which is what you would see when obviously it's in transit, okay, self-explanatory. So remember, extend and retract. Over here, okay, you've got extend, full extend, and then of course retract is the unspoken one that you have as well. So there's three positions there. Okay? Yes. All right, in a minute you're going to see what the extension schedule looks like, right? Be because when you go to flaps one, for example, the leading edge flaps will come out to the full extend position. The slats are going to go to the extend position. And so 
I won't jump that far ahead, but momentarily we're going to see how they actually extend what the schedule is.